हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो मैनी पीपल डू हैव अ क्वेश्चन दैट वॉट वी कैन पुट इन अवर एक्वेरियम एंड वॉट वी कैन नॉट पुट जनरली इन अवर एक्वेरियम फॉर अपार्ट फ्रॉम फिशेज सो दिस वीडियो आई एम मेकिंग दैट विच विल टेल यू आई विल टेल यू इन ए ब्रीफ दैट वॉट ऑल इज नेसेसरी फॉर अ एक्वेरियम सो लेट्स क्विकली स्टार्ट विथ सो as you can see that uh, in this aquarium i had put a uh, soil which you can go for amazonian soil then i had added some of the coconut shells these are your uh, woods which are there and this is from for breeding shrimps you chola woods and this is another piece of wood so in this aquarium basically if i will recommend uh, you that uh, only 10% or 20% your uh, you should have rocks yes 30 to 40 or more than that uh, approximately 50% you can even keep your uh, woods and the rest you can keep your plants so there should be some space for the uh, aquarium fishes to uh, hide as well as there should be some space for them to uh, move across Uh, some digging which they will be doing as this is uh, siamese golden siamese and uh, so there should be a very well defined uh, aquarium so there should be some hiding places uh, where the fish can hide and uh, so i had kept some extra plants and over there and uh, wood is there so they go across and then come back then go across then come back so this is this uh now what i wanted to tell you is that this wood will play a very important role in uh two ways one of them it will neutralize or re- uh, balance your uh, ph the second is that if you have the cleaner fishes like this uh, golden siamese or plecos it's mandatory to keep these woods in your uh, planted tank the reason behind because they will eat this wood if you have a uh, especially if you have a placo definitely you need to have a wood in that else it will die the second thing is that wood will balance your ph and it will give a very natural looks coconut shells are also quite important because they also are part of wood and they balance the ph the next thing which you, you can use is a soil to balance the ph and the plants so that it's it's the entire ecosystem is being maintained in this so that's a quite important thing that uh, many people i had seen they put only the pebbles and entirely that doesn't make the um, fishes or uh, those uh, um, living uh, uh, all the living uh, fishes or the whatever it is in your aquarium which is alive they are not happy but with a balanced aquarium there is an ecosystem which is built and you at ha- least have to work on it to make it clean or to make it ph balanced or to make it gh balanced i rarely have anything uh putting any rare any chemicals or doing any testing or anything else so i'm not been doing any of such things the only thing is is that i'm only keeping the plants in a good quality all the plants you can see are quite green and that's the reason because uh, the soil is quite good so you should take amazonian soil i highly recommend that and uh, this is pelia the green color which i had tied and uh, so the overall ph and everything will itself maintain if you put a lot of stones as this big stone i put multiple of them so the p- stone has a tendency to increase the ph well as the wood and the soil has a tendency to neutralize it so you although the stones looks quite beautiful but uh, generally put l- only t- up to 20% or 10 to 20% stones not more than that wood you can keep as much but only the keeping in mind that the fish can swim plants yes the same funda as much as they can swim and the soil across many people put sands pebbles which i am not recommending 
for uh, the aquarium to be kept in so that's all friends any doubt any questions you have please post in the comment section i'll get back to you